Well, hello, my name is Dana, and uh, today I am at Fort Snelling State Park. So, um, <sighs> about a year ago, I heard about this program, and I don't know all of the details, but basically, like, every state park in Minnesota has, like, a designated trail, and along the trail is a sign um, that has, like, a password on it, and you write the password in your book, and you collect a bunch of passwords, and you can get a uh, free uh, camping night out of it. I don't know how many people are actually doing the program for a free camping night because you have to pay for the uh, book, I guess, but it's still kind of a nice bonus and it's a great way to get out and see all corners of the state, which I have not done a very good job of even though I've lived here for 11 years. Ooh, look. A plane! Okay, so uh, Fort Snelling State Park is kind of it's in a little nest right between uh, cities of Minneapolis and St. Paul, kind of like nestled underneath. Um, well, this is not a very good map. Hold on. Okay, here we go. Okay. Anyway, downtown Minneapolis is like right there. Uh, St. Paul. Basically, the only thing that really separates Minneapolis and St. Paul is the Mississippi River. For the most part, there's a little bit of Minneapolis that's, I think, up there. But anyway, Fort Snelling, look, it's like in the little cradle. Uh, so it is the closest state park, so I figured it would be the best one to start with. Okay, so um, I am outside of the visitor center. I am just trying to get my bearings um, corrected. Okay, so the good news is I actually did find uh, the booklet that I was looking for. They had it. The bad news is, well, it's not really bad news. Uh, however, I was incorrect. There are two different clubs. This is the one that I wanted. This is the hiking club. This is the one where you have trails and around halfway around the trail, you get a password, then you write the name of the password. The other thing that I was confused about is there's actually a passport club, and you do not have to go on any trails, you just have to visit the state park. You get the stamp, there's a little journal area and the date that you visited. So, and I think also, if you fill out enough, you get um, a free night of uh, camping, so. Um, I did get my stamp for today, but the hiking club is the one that I was really interested in. Um, okay, so they said that um, a lot of these state parks do not have a hiking club in the winter. Uh, either they completely shut it down or they turn it into a ski trail. So this park, I am lucky that they have like an alternate in the winter. She said normally uh, the trail is on the outer loop, um, but apparently in the winter they make it the inner loop of the island. So I am at the visitor center. It's not that far away. So I'm just gonna go walk. So let's get to it. Okay, this is the bridge that gets me to Pike Island. I think this is the Minnesota River. And I think the idea of the island is that it is where the Mississippi and the Minnesota River meet. Okay, so I'm officially on Pike Island. I am right there. There are four trails, that outer one, then, so that's one of the inner 
inner and then one in the outer. They do mark the trails, so you're not supposed to hike on that one. But these are the two. So this is just one giant loop. Most of the ice is fairly mushy, but man, I am glad I brought my snow or my ice cleats or whatever. It is really fascinating to me how these leaves have just like punched holes through the ice. taking a quick water and um, rest break, I guess. I looked at the map. I think I'm about maybe a fourth of the way done, a fourth to like a little, somewhere between a fourth and a third, but I think closer to a fourth. Uh, I'm tired. Um, okay, so I moved back to the outer rim of the island. Um, there was nobody walking on the inner uh, there's no actual trail there. They just like flatten parts of the snow to walk around. I think it's too late in the season for uh, skiing. Um, so, you know, there's no actual skiers out here. Everybody was walking on the outer trail. Um, this is just like the more, uh, the prettier trail anyway. So a lot better than what I was walking before. For the uh, hiking club, the signs are usually like at the halfway point. So although I've been keeping an eye out for uh, any signs with passwords, I kind of honestly assumed it would be in this spot. So I'm gonna look around. skier but anyway so this is it end of the island Minnesota River um, Mississippi River kind of failed rain fail right there um, so cool I'm heading back on the way back. I think I'm kind of towards the end. Um, so there was a very large group that kind of was heading back around the same time as me. And so I was trying to outpace them um, and get ahead of them. 
Uh, and then I saw a deer. And I stopped to take a few photos and some videos. And then they outpaced me. So, um, yeah, I just tried to hit it hard. And now I'm just like, man, I need a nap. <sighs> All right, I am beat. Um, so I completed the challenge, I guess if you want to call it a challenge. Um, I walked the entire uh, trail, I got the password. Um, it looks like I was hiking for about 3 hours and 15 minutes. I'm not sure what the total um, distance is, I think, um, you know what, I don't, I'm not even going to guess. Um, yeah, it's just a really, oh, sorry, I'm yawning. It's just a really beautiful day, so I'm just kind of chilling in my car, drinking some water, I think, um, catching Pokemon, I guess. <laughs>